own. Hey guys, it's Ben from KCT here. We're just gonna show you some stuff about the uh, front post ring. Now, a lot of people are, have questions on it. People see the video, we get some emails of, oh, I bet it doesn't work. It's not your height over board or this or that. So what we're gonna do is, kind of in, in a CQB distance, we're gonna go ahead and take this 300 blackout, six and a half inch uh, pistol, and we're gonna shoot that target there. Uh, we're gonna do three rounds in the left tape with just the optic to the center of that tape and then three rounds to the right with just the front post ring and all we're just trying to show here is the, the height over bore and is that consistent so we're not looking for crazy accuracy i know here we come with the, the excuses it's, man, it's it is what it is um this way it hasn't been doped for the um steel case but you know we're also like I don't know, seven yards something like that so i'm not too worried so all right so left one we're just gonna go ahead and, and get those uh, rounds on target here Going hot. Going hot. Going hot. Down range. Down range. So, obviously we're a little bit off to the right, but that was the three rounds with the uh, not now we're gonna go back to that same distance, turn the optic off and just run the front post ring. Now, what I'm gonna do is run this without the rear sight first, um, because this is sort of an emergency backup. You may not have time to get that sight uh, up and running. So we're gonna do that three rounds first with the rear sight folded down, and we'll do three more with the rear sight folded up, see if that uh, gives us a uh, tighter group and accuracy. So. And the H&K bag works, right? Okay, so. We got my dollar store optic off. We're gonna go a little bit further back here. All right, going hot. Going hot. Down range. Down range. So, if we look, and again, these are off. I need to redope this gun. Um, it's had sights changed a couple times. And a little, I think just used cone. But if you can see here, these are almost exactly the same in terms of like what their offset is. Uh, it's over to the right, maybe a little bit low. Obviously, this is a little bit lower and righter, I guess. But the point is, is that in a CQB distance, there's really not a whole lot of difference between using this with no rear sight uh, and this with an optic. So we're going to do one more uh, shot here of the rear sight on and the, uh, the front post ring. Let's see what we get. Going hot. Going hot. Going hot. Down range. Down range. So, yeah, a little bit low, right? Um, but I mean, you know, once I obviously. You know, the gun is doped a little bit more, but you can see that those are pretty consistent in terms of what you're getting from that front sight post ring, whether it's using uh, the optic on top of it or the rear sight, so you're getting that same kind of consistency. Obviously, in this case, just, you know, if you haven't had a chance to go back and dope the gun, know your holds, um, but uh, as far as being able to use this in the CQB setting, I think that this is, is pretty right on. So, um, guys, just wanted to show you that real quick to uh, kind of dispel some of the myths of how this works in close, close quarters, and uh, yeah. See ya.